Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me for part two of my January faves. Yes, that's right. I shot this video and it started out with my hair care faves and went into my makeup faves and it took me so long to get through my hair care faves because I'm kind of on an adventure of growing my hair and I had so many hair care faves in that video that I had to cut the videos in two because I couldn't have a 25 minute long video. So this part of my January faves video is all about all the makeup products that I absolutely love during January and I hope you enjoy it. And if you're 50 plus and you're interested in all things youthing, then I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you could give me a thumbs up, that would be helpful too. Okay, let's get back into my January faves. And the next item is something I absolutely love. It is the Your Most Beautiful You palette by IT Cosmetics. And it is grubby on the front, and I'm sorry about that. And I don't like it when they use this black kind of plastic that picks up the fingerprints. But I really do love this little palette. And here it is. And as you can see, it's got a beautiful blush color here that is super natural that anyone can wear. It's not too warm, not too cool. Has a great highlighter here. And then it has this beautiful little laugh. It says, live, love, laugh. But you almost can't see the words anymore because I've been using this quite a lot this month. But I absolutely love the color, especially of this blush. I think the IT Cosmetics blushes are absolutely fabulous looking. Very natural, a little bit of glow. You can see that color is just really, really natural really pretty and actually instead of a contour this is a little bit of a bronzer and i'll go ahead and apply a little bit of that i'll just grab a little bit of a bronzer brush here and i'll just kind of take it down on my forehead a little bit under my cheekbones a little bit down here under the chin a little bit on the neck and as you can see that just gives you a great bronze glow that is a perfect color, very, very nice and subtle. Now I'm going to use a little bit of the illumination there, the highlighter. Here we go, and I'm going to use this little fan brush here. We'll just take that a little bit on top of the cheekbones, a little bit down the nose, a little bit at the center of the forehead, a little bit on the chin. I particularly like this kit because every color in here is very, very natural, kind of universal colors that I think everyone could wear. Now my next fave is something that I've been getting a lot of use out of all through January. Absolutely love this. I love the Milani blushes. Absolutely beautiful. A little bit of shimmer there, but not too much for us more grown up women. And I like to use this really as a blush and then a little bit of a contour feel. I just take my blush brush and I just go over all of these light colors here. There is how that looks, absolutely beautiful, just a little bit of illumination. And then I use this color under the cheekbone. See, it's just a little bit darker, gives you a little bit more of a shadow underneath the cheekbone. I'm going to probably really overdo my makeup here by adding every product, I better stop that. But I'll show you a little bit how this blusher works. I'll use the lightest color since I really already have blusher on. It just gives you a little bit of brightness, a little bit of illumination, and because of the variation in colors, you can customize it to meet your needs that day. Now my next monthly fave is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. Love this, absolutely beautiful, and it's usually pretty grubby looking because I carry it around in my purse every day. The only thing I don't like, it does not have a powder puff with it, so I've got my CoverGirl powder puff in here. It is absolutely a beautiful little finely milled powder. I wear it in the shade medium. There it is. It's very much like a translucent powder. It just kind of sinks into your skin very flawlessly. They say you can also use this as a setting powder, which I do because it saves time in the morning. I'll just take my little setting brush and dip into the powder and just set the areas that I need to set, especially my under eyes and the concealer area. And I carry this around with me every day because I am oily skinned and I do get a little bit of shine. And when I use just the slightest touch of this powder, it nulls out that shine and gives me a beautiful flawless finish. Now my next two products are lip products. And the first is this wonderful little lipstick by Becca. I absolutely love this. It is the Becca Lipstick and Petal. And as you can see, I'm going to town on that lipstick. Absolutely a beautiful little rose color, but not a rose that is too dark and makes you look old. It's just a beautiful, subtle pinkish rose color that I think would look good on about any skin tone, whether you're warm toned or cool toned. 
absolutely love this they consider this a neutral color this lipstick comes in about 30 different shades but i absolutely love this petal color and i've been wearing it most every day and i've been wearing it with this great little huda beauty lip pencil and this is in the color muse and this is called the huda beauty lip contour in muse and i'll go ahead and show you that lip pencil right there so you can see it's a very good match maybe it's a little bit more brown than this petal color but they work very very well together and this huda beauty lip pencil keeps the petal in your lips and not out in your lip lines and it tends to last all day now the last lipstick i'm going to be showing you is the mac velvet teddy which is an iconic lipstick it's what i have on today and i have it covered by a gloss which i'll show you in just a minute there is the mac velvet teddy and i'll go ahead and put it on again so you can see what it looks like without the gloss it's actually just a little perfect matte color kind of a nude your lips but better color absolutely love nudes like this i don't like the ones that are so pale that are paler than our skin i like it when they do show up just a little bit and this is a great one and then for the lip pencil i'm using one of my all-time favorites i love this lip pencil this is the mac lip pencil in the color stripped down and i've been wearing this and wearing this absolutely love it there it is i'll put it around my lips again so you can see it just a little bit usually i do it before the lipstick and this is just kind of messy girl sorry but as you can see it adds just a little bit of a brown outline and i really like that because i think that it helps your lips look bigger i'll go ahead and swatch it for you i'll put the mac velvet teddy there and then i'll go ahead and put the mac strip down right beside it there you go and so you basically have this wonderful little nude color and then this brown outline and as you can see i think the addition of the brown liner just makes my lips look a little bit larger i think it looks a little funny right there and then on top of that i'm adding a gloss and this is the mac gloss in angelic and i'll go ahead and show you how that looks and i think that is absolutely beautiful it is kind of a shimmery kind of a corally brown i'll go ahead and swatch that beside the other two there you go you can see that little gloss there it just adds a little bit of iridescence a little bit of shimmer and helps take away that matte look and give you some real shine now my last january fave is something totally down to earth and it won't apply to most people but i have been waiting for this product i have a three tooth bridge in my mouth because i had a tooth removed it has to do with my arthritis treatment and at some point i'm going to post that video i have it done i you know if it's already been posted i will put the link below i'm not quite sure Sure when it's going to go up and to clean under the bridge unlike normal teeth where you just use the dental floss you used to have to take a piece of dental floss and thread it through this little round plastic thing and then stick it through the bridge and quite honestly i was not flossing under my bridge very much and i always thought i wish they'd come up with something simpler and about a week ago i was in walmart and i saw this wonderful new product and i am so excited about it this is the oral b super floss and it says it's for braces bridges and wide spaces and so i got it and here it is on the inside it has bunches of little pieces of floss and you just pull them out there here is one that has already been pulled out and basically what it is it's a little piece of kind of cloth like thick floss and that goes under the bridge but to get it there you have this little plastic needle i don't know if you can see that but you just stick it above your bridge and then you pull the floss through and then you clean underneath that bridge appliance and this is absolutely wonderful and ever since i got this about a week ago i've been flossing under my bridge every night and if you have a bridge and or braces i think you would love this well that was a look at my 50 plus january faves and if you're 50 plus and if you're interested in the products that help us look and feel our best then i hope you'll consider subscribing and when you click that bell it just notifies you of my future videos okay i always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and i'm going to go ahead and choose one of these cards oops i'm dropping them these are the language of letting go cards by melody Beatty. let's choose one okay whoa <laughs> releasing anger toward family members releasing anger towards family members oh my this is a good card today i will accept the potent emotions i may feel toward members of my family and i'll be grateful for the lessons they're teaching me i accept the golden light of healing that's shining on all of us 
Oh friends, this card really applies to me because in my first half, I went through a period and I won't go through all the details. I don't like to go back to that resentment I felt then, but because of something that my parents and I went through together, I had resentment against them for years and it was totally stupid. My resentment did nothing to hurt them. It only hurt me. And looking back, that situation that I was so resentful about actually turned out to be one of my greatest blessings. And so I wasted 10 or 15 years in resentment. And I think it hurt my health. I think it gave me stress. And looking back, all that resentment did nothing but waste my life. So friends, just for today, let's accept that although family members sometimes know how to push our buttons and we will feel some resentment, let's let that go as soon as possible. Let's be grateful for the lessons our family members are teaching us and let's accept the golden light of healing that's shining on us all. Take care. See you next time.